this section of the Oregon coast is a gem and you can actually feel like you're out in the wilderness a little bit. Rainforest and beach collide at Cape Lookout State Park, not far from Tillamook. A stone's throw from Three Arch Rocks, the popular campground in Day Use area was created in 1935. Park Ranger Supervisor Travis Corby took me out to the Cape Lookout Trail. And it sticks over two miles out to sea from the main shoreline. Uh, so one of the theories is it just got its name because look out, there's a big headland here. A gloomy northwest mood greeted us at the trailhead. Don't be scared away by the fog. Sometimes the fog is at the start of the trail, and by the time you get to the end of the trail, you've broken out of the marine layer and you're actually in the sun. Well, this is the first view, not too hard to get to. Looking south over a calm summer sea, Travis says if there's no wildlife on the trail, try looking below. Multiple times I've been out on this trail leading tour groups, and I'll look down and you'll see an entire whale surface. No luck for us, but there are other things hidden here. This was actually a very active area during the war. So you're looking at a memorial plaque to a B-17 bomber, a flying fortress, as they were called, that crashed here on August 1st, 1943. History and huge trees reshaped by intense winds of coastal storms and amazing to see how new growth finds a way. These are some of my favorite trees on the trail. They may not be huge, but you see how gnarled there's multiple limbs going up to the top. All right, we've reached the halfway point of the Cape Lookout Trail and Travis is uh, leaving me at this point, not because he wants to, but because he has to. He's got to work. Get back to work, will you? <laughs> uh, Travis, just tell me kind of what can I expect on the remaining trail here. So the remaining section of trail is not going to be as smooth and mud free as the first half. So as you can see here, you got some rocks to greet you. It's going to be much muddier, rocky, and be prepared for some uh, roots to be stepping over. If you bring kids or pets, be cautious on the second half of the trail. If you come at the right time, you'll have this view all to yourself. Special thanks to Chris McGinnis for suggesting the Cape Lookout Trail. Share your adventures with us. We want to see how you're getting out there this summer. Hope you enjoyed coming along for a little hike on the coast. I'm John Goodwin. Let's get out there.